Hello folks, Bill here from CoolWildlife.com and today we're going to take a look at Video Enhance AI. Now I originally downloaded this program with the intent to use it to upscale a lot of my 720p, 1080p, even some of my 4K content up to 8K. Um, what I discovered though as I started to use this program was that it had the ability to extract frames from your video content in the form of a 16-bit TIFF and I thought hmm interesting and so I started playing around with that concept and I was quite amazed at the results that I got and I've always wrestled with do I shoot video on this subject do I shoot stills and lots of times when I was shooting video I was kicking myself that as the action occurred that I wasn't getting great uh, still shots that I should be um, and then if I was shooting still sometimes, yeah, wow, it would have been great to tell the story through video. And so you always are playing this game with yourself of what should I be shooting at this particular point in time? And so that may all change as I show you what I'm about to show you. Uh, I wrote up extracting the TIFF in my blog and a lot of people emailed me and asked if I could do a video to show you exactly how to perform that function. So that's what we're going to look at today. Uh, first thing you're going to see when you boot up Video Enhance AI is this series of splash screens, one, two, and three. I do recommend that you read through them. You can get rid of it after when you're on your trial or your full-blown version. Just hit show at startup, click that off, and it won't show again. But I do recommend you read it. There are three screens. First one, how to process a video. Second one talks to you about how to set clips within the video, which is really important. And I'm going to show you how to do that so you don't have to render an entire video, which can take a very long time. And then the last one talks about how to export your video. So we'll close that off. Before we start, make sure you go up to process in the top left and make sure you're set to use your video card for the rendering, not the CPU. It'll go a lot quicker that way. Okay, so then the only thing you're going to see on your screen at this point really that you need to know about is click drop video to open. All right, so you're going to click on that and that's going to open up an Explorer folder. I'm using a Windows machine uh, and I'm going to choose a video content and I'm going to choose 5157 because this particular video is a very windy day and this northern hawk owl's feather is really plumed out nicely and we're going to pick a frame out of that. So I'm going to right or yeah, I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to show you uh, the properties of the video just so you can see that and if you go to details you can see that it is a 3840 by 2160 content so it's a 4k content that we're extracting from All right and then we are going to select that file and open it okay and that'll bring the video uh, that you see here into your frame. So there's our hawk owl sitting on a nice perch and what I can do now is go up to the top left here and I'm going to left click on my mouse button and hold it down and I'm just going to drag the slider across the screen see what we see and as you see frames that you like, you can select those. Now, I was looking in particular as the wind really started to blow. I thought, wow, this is starting to get interesting right here. I really like that, right? Somewhere in there, but I'll go a little before it, okay? And what I'm going to do now is select the scissors up here on the top right, and I'm going to select the scissors for the starting point. So I click on that. And you can see that it has cut away all the front end. Then I'm going to continue to scroll across until I, okay, and I want those frames in between there and there. So I will choose the scissors for stopping it. And now I've selected just this little bit of snippet right here. And now I'm going to come over here to the right hand side and I'm going to say, give me a 16 bit TIFF, okay, not an 8 bit. And the MPEG-4 is used when you upscale video. So just choose 16-bit. And then I'm going to come up here to the preset. And I'm going to choose 8K. I'm going to take it up to the 76, I think it says 7680 by 4320. Okay, and I click on that. 
and now I've got it set for a TIFF file, which you can see down on the bottom of my screen here that it's set for a 7680 by 4320 TIFF extraction, says out there. And the only other thing I need to do now is come down here to this little video camera, which says start processing. Okay, and I click on that and it will now start to process this image. I'm using the a trial version that I downloaded, so it says I have 21 days remaining. I'll close that off, and then it talks about initializing the AI engine, which may take several minutes. Uh, close that out, and then on the left-hand side, you're going to see the video. Uh, that's the original source. And eventually you'll see a preview on the right hand side of the owl and as it goes through extracting the frames you see each of the tiffs and it can take a little bit of time for that preview to come up but you can see on the left hand side I really liked that image that I was getting with the feathering the way that it is so it's now extracting the tiff files from this image and you will see the screen change as it extracts the TIFF files. Uh, but what we're going to do, and you, there, you saw the plume come out. And that's probably the image I'm going to be looking to grab right there. I really like how the feathers started to plume out there. But we won't go through the whole sequence. What we'll do is pretend now that this had finished its sequence of pulling TIFFs. And if I go over to my Explorer file, click here and I go up, it's created a folder for you, CWL5157, which is producing 7860 by 4320 files. And when I click on that, you can see the TIFF files that it has extracted from the video that we chose. And so now you go through and select the particular one that you like. And just as I hover over it, you can see that it is a 76080 by 4320 TIFF file that's 191 megabytes. Okay. And so I open up one of those files just to see. And I can click through each of the sequences and choose the particular image that I like and we're coming up on it very shortly okay and as I say just keep scrolling through till you find the image that you like it's pulled out the frames from the snippet and I really like how the feathers are plumed out on this one now I'll, I'll blow up on this so you can see uh, the quality that we're getting as we pull this image up is actually just uh, amazing to me so there we have our TIFF image, and now I can pull that into Photoshop and start to edit it uh, as I would any other image um, and get it ready to go up into my gallery. And so that is how I render a TIFF image from whatever video content you want to produce. Uh, if you have any additional questions, you can let me know. But otherwise, I really hope you enjoy this software and, and think of it as not just a video upscaler, but <laughs> the ability to pull out single frames now changes the game for me because I'm usually shooting at 24 frames per second or 30 when I shoot video. And if I'm shooting with um, you know, a DSLR, I'm probably shooting somewhere in the 8 to 12 frames per second. So it gives me a lot more options to pull out uh, frames that I might not have otherwise gotten if I was just shooting with my DSLR. So that's video enhance AI from Topaz Labs. I hope you download the trial and give it a chance. Uh, see how it works for you for TIFF files. And if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for joining us and you have yourself a wonderful day.